Hi, and welcome to the Nerdy Bazaar. Yes, that is right, I have returned. And today, it is New Year's, I thought, why not show you around some of my favourite figures that I got in 2022? I just instantly dated my video. Oh well, we'll have to do this next year. As you can see, I've moved house, so I have a lot more room to display my stuff. Also kind of meant I bought a lot more stuff this year. So I thought, let's start with the, some of the big lads I bought. This thing. This is the Jurassic Park. I can't even get him in frame. Brachiosaurus. This is the biggest figure in my collection. There's your thumbnail. <laughs> he's just ginormous. And he's he's in scale with all the other Jurassic Park figures. And I, just, I can't even fit him on the shelf. He like permanently lives on the floor. I love this thing, it's so good. He's got a moving mouth. Is that duh? But I kinda wanna keep him like just there in frame the whole time. <laughs> With movable legs, he's he's amazing. Like but like I say, he can't fit on my Jurassic Park shelf because there's some other big lads on there. So should we have a look at that? The Mosasaur. We even got a Diaboloceratops. There's a Spinosaurus, the Irex. That's the Indominus Rex to you and me, but I like calling it the Irex. Scorpius Rex. We have a Ceratosaurus. The T-Rex. But what I wanted to show you was this bad boy. He's so long, and he's the Apatosaurus. He's huge. And his head kind of looks like a penis. But it's just, those two alone make it like so cool. So there's my Jurassic World shelf. Another big lad, I can always talk with my hands when I'm doing these YouTube videos. I don't know why I should really stop that. Another huge lad I got very recently was the Avatar Banshee. This thing, again, is so large. I can't even get it on frame, so I'm just going to show you. But it's, it's huge. You're the big lads. I guess you think this thing is ginormous. It's got its issues, but my god, is it, is it like a statement piece? I've also got some... Bits from an old fish tank on there just to make it look cool, and the little baby one, just there. <laughs> I bought the Avatar figures too, because you can't just have the Banshee, but it looks so good. My friend bought me this for uh, an early Christmas present. Very expensive, but I love it, but I don't really think I feel like I need to buy like the rest of them. You know, because there's, there's uh, Materi's got one, and there's all the ones from the new movie. Maybe from the new movie, but this is enough for me right now. The Avatar, Banshee, and Figures. Next up is my additions to my 90s X-Men shelf. As you see, it's grown quite exponentially. <laughs> but one of them that I've got to point out here is Jubilee. She's been a grail figure for a while because she just was not released properly in the UK and Luckily, we got her in the VHS series. I nabbed that straight away. I've also picked up Morph. Let me see buddy. Look at how evil he looks. And there's also a Mystique over there. Oh, one of the best X-Men figures I bought has to be this Apocalypse figure. He's just so amazing. I love the sculpt, the colors, he's huge. It just, it works for me. But one of the grails I got was this bad mama jammer the sentinel this is the first builder figure and i found him at tf nation and like everyone else was getting the big uh, haslab one i got this one and i'm so happy with it so the x-men or the 90s x-men another grail figure i got this year well the grail set that's been the guardians of the galaxy set i'm surprised we've only had one of those it's weird considering how popular they are Another cool, cool couple. A good couple of cool figures is this Iron Man and this Marvel Select Iron Man um, Hulk. They just look really amazing together. Gotta call out the Doctor Strange. That's just a cool, cool ass figure. That's all I'm gonna say. This figure's cool. This figure's cool. There's Thor. He's cool. He is Thanos. He's cool. But yeah, my classic shelf has kind of grown quite a lot. Also, there's lots of villains down here. 
The Marvel Legends Zombies were really amazing this year. From the What If show. These are actually on a really t tall shelf, so it's like hard to get a shot. But I want a whole wave of these, and I think we are getting a TV show based on it, so fingers crossed we get loads of them. Another one set that I liked was the Peter Parker and Ned Leeds set. It just looks so good with like the MJ and the Happy Hogan. Co gotta mention the uh, Scarlet Spider. The paint job on that thing is amazing. But speaking of the best figure, check this out. This is a custom me figure I made. Okay, it's not the most amazing thing in the world. It's an America Chavez body with a Gwen Stacy head, but come on, that looks just like me. Speaking of custom figures, check out this custom Matt Murdock. He's made from the Mo Mobius body from Loki with the Matt Murdock head. We've got a uh, custom Cletus Cassidy over there. I also made my own custom Captain America. Spider-Man shelf is coming along. I've been on a really big Beast Wars kick recently. And it started with buying the trans metal figures at a toy fair and I just loved how fun they were. And then I remember going out one day and I pretty much bought the entire lineup for the old the original cartoon. And I just wanted to release more of them. Also, I freaking love Tigertron now. <laughs> Speaking of Beast Wars, my Beast Wars collection has grown ginormously, including a cool Tigertron. I picked up the Ravage um, one a few days ago. And Inferno is really nice, but the best one so far has got to be the Transmetal 2 Megatron. That thing is so big and so good. I really, really enjoy it. My friend, again, I've got that for Christmas, and it's so good. Sorry for the noise in here, my fish tank is going, but I don't just collect action figures, I also collect anime figurines. And this set was awesome, it's the quintessential quintuplets. I saw the movie to this this year, it made me cry, it made me laugh, but I have all five, and it's really good. I picked this up recently, this is Hinata from Naruto, which I, I decided to make my own shelf with her. Best waifu. <laughs> Going across, I got some Dr. Stone figures, and they look amazing. There's some, that time I got reincarnated as a slime figures there. They look awesome. We got Assassination Classroom, Kuro Sensei. And then I picked this up just the other day. This is Tai from Digimon. This is just, this is just cool. This is what I wanted when I was a kid. There's a couple other cool figures here. Not figures, but there's my cool fish tank. One thing I got into a lot this year was just getting old um, Unicron Trilogy figures. And yes, I know there's a new Starscream, and well, I am on the way getting them. But I got most of these this year, and I love that Megatron and the tidal wave behind. Top 10 figures right there. Another set that I was able to complete this year was the original G1 Seekers. I didn't think I'd get like the original three, let alone all six. So I'm really happy that I got that and they look really good together. I also got, I also got a G1 Soundwave. It's also got a laser beak and around here we have, yep, a Ravage. So that's just, that is like a gold figure right there. So iconic. I love it. When I went to TF Nation this year, I had a list of if I could find a Devastator, I would get one. And I think it was like one of the first things I found. And so I got Devast Combinables Devastator, he's so cool. And I think everyone, I haven't really put him on the list, but he's nearly there. It's the Menasaur, the Legacy Menasaur, he's, he's awesome. I'm currently missing his leg, but I will be rectifying that soon. I'm just gonna point out the Decepticons. This guy though, Nemesis Prime, he's like my favourite figure I bought this year. I freaking love this thing. 
I love the original mold, but it's something about the black and red and teal. It's so awesome. You see here is a custom figure my friend made. It's a custom seeker from the original script of the original 80s movie. I think it's really good. Um, I'm going to leave his link down below if you want to um, hit him up for a custom. Speaking of, he also did me a custom ratchet, which is like really amazing. And if we're going to go top 10 figures of the year, we've got to put on Ironhide. Dude's freaking amazing. Oh, Hot Rod's alright, but I think he came out last year. <laughs> ah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, this gold bug. I bought it again, it was a TF Nation Impulse buy, but I freaking love this mold anyway. But, like, having it in gold bug and the gold paint just totally is just amazing. So, that was a couple of the figures I got this year. I'm glad I got to show them off to you. And hopefully I'll make some more videos for you if you want to watch them. If you do, leave a like and all subscribe and all that stuff down there. Helps me out, makes me want to do this. This is Aaron, Nerdy Bazaar, out. I think Bagman speaks for himself, he's just so cool.